At the 2022 Midwest Gaming Classic, we got some fantastic news. The folks from Video Games Monthly and Premium Edition Games are joining forces to go ahead and try to take over the gaming world. Well, not really, but they are going ahead and joining forces to try to bring you better products from both Video Games Monthly and Premium Edition Games. Hey everyone, Gary here with Rock Solid Productions. Thanks for stopping by and checking out what we have here today. It's pretty cool to be able to share this type of news with each and every one of you. Now, Premium Edition Games, we haven't talked about them a whole lot, but they are the company behind games like A Robot Named Fight, uh, Super Blood Hockey, I think, is another one that they have, and one that we brought back from the show, Demon's Tear. Video Games Monthly, I've talked to them many times and talked about them many times here on the channel too. It is a monthly video game retro service where basically you can have three, four, five, or ten different retro video games sent to your doorstep each and every month, all depending on the cost that you want to go ahead and invest. So what does this all mean? Does it mean that you're going to start seeing premium edition games in your video games monthly boxes? No. Does it mean you're going to see retro re-releases on the NES, Super NES, Genesis Master System from Premium Edition games? No. It basically means these two companies are joining forces to basically share resources. It's, think of it as one marketing department that is now going to surface both independent companies. There's no ownership change, there's no buyout or buy-in or anything along those lines. It's just a matter of these two great companies are going to work together for the benefit of each other and hopefully the modern and retro gaming industry. Now, when we were at the Midwest Gaming Classic, they'd give me a copy of Demon's Tier that we're gonna throw on the photo bench and kind of check out and see how it comes out of the box. We're even going to do a little bit of gameplay with it too, with perhaps a new capture card. We're gonna to have to see if we can get that out. But what I wanna know from you down below in the comment section, are you a fan of Video Games Monthly? Are you a fan of Premium Edition Games? And if you are a fan of Premium Edition Games, what's your favorite lease that they have put out thus far? Let's go ahead, let's take a closer look at Demon's Tier. All right, so here we have the box for Demon's Tier where it is again from Premium Edition Games. Uh, and this is completely sealed. They gave it to me at no cost at the uh, Midwest Gaming Classic. They are not checking this content before it goes live though. Uh, will you be the hero to save the world? Thor's guard, a hated king attracted by demonic rituals turned into a dark and diabolical, diabolical being, destroying almost all of humanity and flooding the world with monsters. This story became a legend and peace returned to the land. Thousands of years later, a mysterious pit appears in the village after a huge earthquake where an evil aura emanates from epic storyline. Two-player local co-op mode, eight heroes with different stats and abilities, procedurally generated dungeons, high-quality chiptune music, twin stick shooting, and achievements available in this as well. So let's go ahead and let's open this up. Now, they did also have a copy of uh, a robot named Fight on site as well. I actually already have a copy of that, so uh, they kindly handed me this here, which is awesome. And Robot Name Fight, if you haven't played it yet, if you like Metroid, you will love Robot Name Fight. Amazing, amazing game. And the cool thing, too, is Paul Niemeyer, Niemeyer, Niedemeyer, uh, basically the same artist who did the Mortal Kombat graphics, uh, and the dragon design and everything did the graphics for Robot Name Fight. So pretty neat. Well, the artwork, I should say, not the graphics. Yeah. This feels like a Super Nintendo game, just the way the box, or, or even an N64 game. All right, let's take a look. Ooh, holy cow, I was not expecting that. So uh, a CD here with the original soundtrack, and there are 17 total tracks on here. Uh, total length, about 22 minutes, just a little bit over that. Again, very cool, was not expecting that. And that's just a cardboard spacer. And same thing with this here, just another cardboard spacer. And here's the game itself. Premium edition number 03. Trying to be very careful here just to cut the plastic and not get the, uh, the box underneath. One of the reasons I wanted to take the plastic off too is so that you can take a look at the artwork on here. I really sharp, really like that. Um, very cool. Yeah, okay, so that way it comes out a lot easier than the way that I was trying to do it. Uh, NES inspired sleeve, which is pretty neat. And then there is the game. Uh, different sort of artwork than what's on the sleeve, which is neat. Walks you through everything here, and uh, we'll open up the 
case here real quick, and it should be just a normal cartridge, I would figure. I don't, I'm not anticipating a manual in here, but you never know. You know, there's something rattling around in there. Does have a manual and some additional things, so let's take a look here. Uh, we'll give you a close-up look, first of all, of the cartridge. Pretty nice looking cartridge there. And then you do have a Demon's Tear card. Beat the third boss with the clerk to earn a patch. And it actually does have an instruction booklet. Very cool. I know someone recently took me to task. I called it a manual. Manual booklet. It, six of one, half a dozen of the other. Full color. Pages are a little bit stuck together. Ring menu skill except dodge attack. So pretty... Straightforward, when you die, okay, game allows two player co-op, second player is able to earn achievements and can pick up the same unlocks as the first player. When you die, you start over. Shooting is done with the right stick. Blocking is done with R and a cooldown. Ability is used with Y with cooldown. Enemies drop D tokens. Okay. Well, we'll go ahead, let's do this. Let's jump into the game for a few minutes and we'll give you an idea of what it looks like, what it sounds like, and what it plays like. Okay, so this is very much, I would say, like a um, Smash TV where the left stick uh, moves your character and the right stick moves or, or fires your, your weapon at the enemy. Let's read this. Eliminate demons to retrieve D tokens, the currency in this town, but characters, or buy characters, weapons, and relics. If you are defeated, this tomb will appear and you will lose your D tokens. You will have one opportunity to destroy it and retrieve them back. Open chest to obtain gold it is required to improve your stats during a playthrough. Gold can only be used inside of dungeons. Okay, it walks you through the basics here. You can talk to different characters. I have a secret. You can gain D tokens much faster if you choose to improvise or improve your combo level. Oops, I guess it's no longer a secret. Yeah, true, true, true. Oh, so here's some of the settings. The aspect ratio, you can do full screen, original. We'll do original. Music, you can adjust that. Screen effect, none. High resolution. CRT, none. Turn vibration on and off. Heads up display, you can turn that uh, or change the way that that looks. We're going to look at high res. That's what high res looks like, which... Okay, that's interesting let's look at what crt looks like that looks terrible linda aka the gamer girl crt is trash you know what we're gonna go with uh oops sorry there we're gonna go screen effect screen effect high res i actually like that so we'll see where else we can go here i see an arrow pointing me inside what looks like a pub Berserk almost reminds me of a uh, Stormtrooper. Okay, now it's telling me to go down the hole. Ah, I took a couple of hits there. Part of it is I actually have my TV brightness turned down so having a bit of an issue just seeing some of the uh, the enemies here now are these actually snakes or are they ropes that's more gold we'll open this one Ooh, got a lot of gold there you know what this reminds me of and and this is meant very complimentary because I really like it a lot is relic hunters remix zero um, you know, another great kind of twin stick shooter. Um, that not set in, you know, a an, an olden age or a middle age or something like that, but more set in a modern or futuristic time. I would say if you are a fan of um, Smash TV, definitely something that you would want to consider. And also, uh, quite honestly, if you like that Relic Hunters Remix Zero, this would be a, a good game for you as well. Play control is tight. I mean, it's not super complicated. So, I mean, that is that is something to kind of be aware of here. So, it kind of has that collect-a-thon feel to it as well a little bit. 
Now again, this is just me because of the way that I'm playing right now on my TV. It is a little bit on the dark side, but I'm sure that if I turn up the the brightness and everything in the backlighting, it would be brighter and easier for me to see. You know, not something that is really demanding from a graphical standpoint, uh, but it doesn't have to be. The gameplay feels good and tight. Das gut und tight, yeah. And when you get to the end of each round, it looks like it gives you an update on your stats, which is good. So, um, so far, so good. Uh, yeah, this is something I can see myself definitely spending some more time with. Not what I thought. I was expecting more of a, um, like a Metroidvania, quite honestly. But I, I like these types of games quite a bit. Um, you know, it's one of those where, you know... For me, I'm not super into RPGs. Actually, I hate RPGs. Let's just be honest about that. Um, I was a little concerned that with just the artwork and whatnot that it might be something like that. But no, not at all. This is definitely something more of a, a run and gun or a shooter. Um, come on, get out of the way. Will you just die? But something you'll definitely want to check out. I'm... Uh, Sure that you'll be able to order it through the Premium Edition Games website and more. So let's go ahead and let's wrap things up. So there you have it, our look at Demon's Tear from Premium Edition Games for the Nintendo Switch. And it's really a neat sort of just a twin stick shooter, kind of a Smash TV, kind of a Relic Hunters uh, Remix Zero, and just a fun sort of setting. I like the different features that are built into it. The fact that you can have the, the high definition or the standard or the terrible looking CRT mode. Linda, AKA the Gamer Girl, CRTs are terrible. Just deal with it. Um, I do like the total package. I'm not talking about Lex Luger here, but that they offer here with this. The fact that you do get, you know, the NES inspired dust sleeve here. The fact that you do get the outer cover as well the you know super nintendo n64 inspired box and the cd with the music i actually wasn't expecting this in the box uh, as the other outer sleeve does fall over here um, the music actually you're hearing throughout this video was from this i actually burned this and ripped it to my uh, laptop to use as background music in this episode i figured that it would be appropriate to do so um, Something, like I mentioned, if you're into the Smash TV twin stick shooter kind of game, something you may want to check out here. Now, they do have them on the website right now. They show not available at this time, but I know that the pre-orders are coming soon and you will be able to get them through top retailers as well. Now, if you do want to check out like our coverage of uh, Midwest Gaming Classic 2022, other gaming pickups, and a whole lot more, those videos are coming up for you right now. Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you want to help support Rock Solid Productions and be a part of our community, there's a number of different ways you can do so. First and foremost, join us over on our Patreon page or become a channel member here on YouTube. By joining through either one of those methods, you get early access to just about all of our video content, exclusive content, and a whole lot more. We also give you shout outs at the end of each and every one of our videos. You can also pick up some awesome Rock Solid Productions swag. We've got t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, and more available through our Teespring store on screen right now too. You can also pick up some of our awesome 3D printed cartridge stands, Amiibo holders, Nintendo DS holders, and more by visiting our 3D printer store on screen right now as well. Links for everything will be down below in a pinned comment. If you wanna stay up to date with everything we have going on here at Rock Solid Productions, make sure that you're following us on the different social media networks. We're on Facebook at facebook.com slash Productions, Instagram at instagram.com slash Productions GK, and Twitter at Rock Solid Studios. If you're looking to pick this and other retro and modern gaming accessories up, make sure that you head on over to castlemaniagames.com. He has a feature 
over there called Castle Cash, where the more you spend, the more you earn towards future purchases, and Castle Cash is just like cash. He also offers convenient payment plans for more expensive items over $50. Finally, make sure that you use promo code ROCKSOLID10 when you're shopping at CastlemaniaGames.com as it can save you up to 10% on most items on the website. Again, thank you for watching this episode and I cannot wait to see you again soon.